Hello and welcome to Reactor Explained from Groove3. I'm Brent Kalmer and I'll be your host for this series of video tutorials covering one of the most powerful pieces of audio software ever produced, Native Instruments Reactor. Now we'll be covering a great deal of ground in this series of tutorials. We'll of course get you up and running with Reactor. We'll take a look at Reactor's extensive and mind-blowing factory content. We'll pull back the curtain on the structure, uh, go behind the scenes and look at how these ensembles and instruments are created. We'll modify an ensemble and we'll create one of our own. And that of course is in addition to many, many other things. But before we go into all of that, I'd like to take a brief look at what it is that makes Reactor so unique in the world of audio software. Now generally when you buy a plugin, you're getting something that serves a specific purpose. So it may be a synthesizer or a sampler, for example. Or if it's an effect, it may be a reverb or a delay or a compressor. But in most cases, it does something specific and, and you purchase it for that purpose. When you get Reactor, what you're getting is a sonic factory. So while it contains over 70 instruments and effects, it's also its own platform. It's a place where you can build instruments, you can build effects, you can connect existing instruments and effects in all sorts of ways. In brief, you can create sounds that you simply won't be able to create anywhere else. And that's what makes Reactor so unique. So to get a sense for what I'm talking about, let's take a brief tour through some of the factory content. This content includes synthesizers like Carbon 2. And laser bass. Experimental sequencers, like Spiral. Groove boxes, like Sign Beats. And Aerobic. Effects, like Lurker. And sound generators, like Metaphysical Function. In other words, if you can dream it, you can likely create it in Reactor. And now that we have a sense for what Reactor can do, let's get it set up on your system.